sight. Picking them off, picking them out. Looking like oh, day, night, in the night. And the killer, so many niggas really want to get involved. And everybody fall off in the elevator. Now I'm bread rice in this. It's like I'm rice and taking bite. It's nice and I have a nice time. Oh, <laughs> time to the <laughs> fight. It's it down. I'm Lou, also known as Bids. Um, yeah, I play for Singularity. Give me your honest opinion. What do you think about Modern Warfare as a game title? Had it, it had its chance to be a good game, but then they just didn't help us make the game better when we gave all the feedback, or all the pros gave the feedback. They don't really help our Sam's out a lot. Uh, we're stuck playing on the 12 hertz, which is terrible. Yeah, it's just not very fair, but the game is not good at all. Uh, it's pretty, probably one of the worst CODs we've had in the last 10 years, <laughs> I'd say. It, it's, it's just bad. It's so bad. It feels like I'm flipping the coin most of the time because it's just how it works. The game works. Like, there's no rotation. Like you can rotate, but squad spawns. Like, there's no. You can't predict. Well, you can predict spawns, but you know what I mean. Like in other games, you can go somewhere first, and you'd guarantee that. But if one of their players do that, and you kill all their players, they spawn with the guy who's left. Get squad spawns. That like, you can get punished in this game for killing five people. Like once we're on the start, we start on a good side of the map. Which we should get like 60 points for after start. Jamie killed all five of them crossing, and they all spawn behind him and have the good spawns because he killed all five of them. Like, what? How does that make sense? You get punished for killing everyone, but if you did that in a normal game, you'd be like such an advantage because you just kill them all five. You know where they're gonna be, and you spawn trap them. Not in this game. How has your experience been with the franchise and challengers? Like, how do you think this ecosystem is working? Or do you think it's working? I think this is probably the first year ever that a lot of amateur players have had a chance. But it's just a shame, it's just American Ams. Like, obviously we had the good starts of the year, like pretty the best start you can get when the game was... I'd say the game at the start of the year took the most skill because you everyone tried playing it how you would play a normal Call of Duty. And now everyone found out a way, you know, to play it wrong, but it worked. And then that's why we struggled, I think, adapting to that. But then all these AMs in America got got these chances because of us not having visas and you know the, all the virus things happening and all that stuff. But everyone I think knows that a lot of our players would have gone if we had the visas. People were approached, as you know, and it just it went downhill because of the visa stuff. And I'm not going to say like the names of some of the damage players got chances, but some of them are fucking terrible. And it, it, it's mind blowing because these people we beat last year, all this year, and they're never given this challenge, and they're getting opportunities of a lifetime, just because of where they're born. What is your expectations going into champs? To win. End the year, how we started it. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people have started to underestimate us again. This, is, this tournament's for a lot of money again. All these people that get comfy playing in these challenger cups, but basically 1Ks and 2Ks. They've always been unreal against us and them. Then as soon as it comes to a tournament environment like in LAN, also makes it important like when we got we got top 32 in the first two k of the year, and then our basically our lives were on the line going into the second one. Look what happened! Complete different team. We we it's like our minds, you know what I mean? Boom, straight into it. I think we lost one map the entire two k, and then that shows. You know what I mean? That shows it's more of like a mindset thing. I reckon with us, which is obviously not a good thing to have, but. I'm just hoping, you know, it comes up to play again on the weekend because, well, yeah. <laughs> and you got your good luck charm here, right? Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, in five events you've come to. We have five grand finals. Yeah. <laughs> yes. More or less. Nah, but, um, yeah, nah, it's it's been a great pleasure um, working with you both last year and also this year. Um, I am really much, hopefully, looking forward to win champs. Win um, champs. It would be uh, at least putting yourself in the best position to get into the franchise next year, no matter if there's coming more franchises or not. Yeah. And if it, the game is going back from five players to be four players again, there is so many question marks and so many rumors, but um, I guess we'll just kind of have to wait and see. It's the second time you're here in Denmark uh, visiting us in like the boot camp and everything. How is it uh, being together with the boys after not having seen them for a little more than... I know you're together every day yeah. online, but um, is it different having them here? Yeah, it, it is 
it is a lot different. Online, obviously, it's just... I think, I'd say, me, Jamie, and Jed have spoke with each other every day for probably three years. Like, and then when, like, we had the the boot camp in Mini, I realised, like, it was like, oh, everyone's vibe was kind of like... We knew how lucky we were, and it was like, we are having fun, and we were getting better, because it was like, how it was going. And then when we, uh, when we went to, like, the American boot camp, that's when it was, like the best like vibes I've ever seen like for the first like four weeks it was like a dream you think about all of us together we've been good friends for such a long time and you no know, I think it made our like chemistry a lot stronger as well then when we came home the first thing we spoke about were where can we rent in England where we can live together because like we like that vibe being around each other it's a lot more I don't know how to say it more like a I don't know if it puts I feel, I feel like it changes the Way of just getting up in the morning and getting on yeah. and it makes it more of a you do everything together kind of thing and it, it's always bonding and yeah it's more I, think that of works a, I guess it's just kind of part of the team game is the best way to say it like um, yeah but yeah you know, it's been a long time i've missed them and it's good to be back around you know around each other because you know at the end of the day we are boys and yeah, it's just fun boys to need to run wild yeah. together <laughs> nah but um yeah that's perfect luke and um yeah, let's end this. Uh, let's end this uh, season on a high. But, um, but yeah, thank you and um, yeah, good luck. Thank you. <laughs>